Graduation is not just the culmination, it's a commencement, a beginning of new adventures, challenges, and opportunities. Trust me, this is a wonderful, <laughs> wonderful occasion. Oh, it's amazing. And we are absolutely proud. We're so proud of you. <laughs> oh. Once I got my associates, I was like, all right, I'm going to stick with UMT. So it was definitely the staff and everything that's helped out throughout my whole time doing this has been amazing. So
emotions will be the Remotely 
to enable the flexibility for our students to study at any time and anywhere at your convenience globally. We are proud of the way UMT delivers its quality education and we are proud of our faculty members. Since 1998, UMT has built a strong global learning community through its online and distance education program. We often say that geographic boundaries do not limit us or our students. In the past 25 years, by the way, this year we celebrate our 25th year anniversary as a university. UMT has provided all levels of higher education programs to a total 26,534 students who reside in 50 states, the District of Columbia, four U.S. territories, and 89 countries. Of those who have studied with us, 15,844 students have earned their degrees from the UIT. So even today, we have small gathering, but you are not a small group. You are in a very big, large family of UMT globally. We have students, we have alumni in the 89 countries. Dear UMT graduates, today is a significant day in your life. Your determination, dedication, and hard work in pursuing high education made us and your family members very proud of your achievement today. As two UMT graduates, we will tell you their stories today on this stage. We have Jose Joseph here. You will hear from them. Yeah. Nothing yeah. has been easy. Everybody will say that. Nothing has been easy yet. A journey of studying at UMT not only earned you a degree today, but also made you a stronger and better person and a citizen tomorrow. We are excited for your accomplishment. I'm sure that today is one of the highlights and a shining moment in your life. We love to see you in your regalia. Your cap in the air. You jump up to celebrate. Hug your family members and the loved ones to thank them. Post your diploma and the graduation photos on your LinkedIn and the Facebook pages. To make your achievements visible, you deserve it. Today is your day. Tomorrow is a better day for you to take on more professional and personal responsibilities to make a difference. On behalf of the entire UMT family, community, congratulations on your achievement and all the best to you and your bright future. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Chen. As you may know, um, as Dr. Chen mentioned, this year we are thrilled to celebrate a remarkable milestone in our journey, the 25th anniversary of the University of Management Technology. Okay, cheers to the 25 years of excellence at UMT. And over the past quarter century, we have grown, evolved, and achieved outstanding success thanks to all the dedications and commitments of our faculty, staff, students, and alumni. Thank you all for being an essential part of our UMT family. 
Our next speaker, Dr. Janine Guest, is one of our UMT faculty. She's been with UMT for six years, teaching courses in graduate level programs and also serving as a dissertation advisor for our doctoral students. Hi, good morning. Distinguished graduates, esteemed UMT faculty, honored guests, fellow and scholars, today we gather to celebrate a pivotal moment in your journey, a moment of transformation, achievement, and promise. Graduation is not just a culmination, it's a commencement, a beginning of new adventures, challenges, and opportunities. So as you embark on the next chapter of your lives, I want to offer my heartfelt congratulations to each and every one of you. I want to share a quote with you that is the essence of this message that I have for you today, and it's from a British writer named Vivian Green. And it says, life is not about waiting for the storms to pass, but about learning how to dance in the rain. I have been at UMT for a little over six years now. I teach the contracts and procurement course, the budget and finance class, and the international relations course. And since that time, I've had the opportunity to interact with many of you, whether it was through the, middle, the Moodle system, email, text, um, phone, Zoom calls, and I've learned a lot about you. Um, some of you, many of you are parents, work full time. You also um, take care of your elderly parents and aging parents. Many of you are deployed um, or preparing to deploy. And so I thought about it. You're, in addition to that, you're also dealing with the loss of a loved one. I have even encountered many of you that are contracting professionals like myself. So take a minute to reflect on your accomplishments. In addition to your personal lives, there were countless hours of hard work. There was a, a deep contemplation and the pursuit of knowledge. You have pushed your intellectual boundaries to overcome any challenges that you may have had, and those challenges only made you stronger. But your education, it doesn't end today. It actually evolves. So as you step out into the world, remember, you carry not only just a degree, but a mindset of continuous learning that will serve as your compass for many years to come. In a world characterized by rapid change, your ability to adapt and innovate is gonna be paramount. We witnessed and learned how to dance in the rain with the pandemic in which we all had to adapt to new work environments. Many businesses had to accelerate their digital transformation efforts in order to meet changing consumer needs. And then many restaurants now offer online ordering and delivery to traditional re retailers who are now moving to e-commerce. They had to move to e-commerce in order to stay alive. To now medical professionals now offering teledoc visits. So in addition to all of that, adaptability became essential for our survival. And you guys did all of this while managing your coursework and your personal lives. You are now equipped with the critical thinking skills to discern truth from falsehood, creativity to envision a better world, the ability to take on challenges, and a resilience to navigate setbacks with unwavering determination. Yet, along with these skills comes a responsibility, a responsibility to apply your knowledge and abilities that you have acquired for the greater good. In your pursuit of personal success, remember, don't forget the power you hold to uplift those that are around you, whether it's your family, your friends, or your colleagues. And remember to, to use that, those skills to be able to contribute to the betterment of society. So as you transition to more senior roles in your organization, or whether you're entering the workforce for the first time, embarking on further studies, or venturing into uncharted territories, Remember that the mark of true success lies not only in what you achieve for yourself, but in the positive impact that you'll create for others and your willingness to adapt to change. The greatest glory in living lies not in never falling, but in rising every time you fall. And those are the words of Nelson Mandela. As you leave the comforting confines of UMT, you might encounter uncertainty and doubt, but remember, it's okay to not have all the answers. The journey you're about to embark upon is gonna be filled with many successes, learning experiences, and some failures. But these failures will ultimately shape your character and refine your purpose. So embrace the unknown, for it is in the face of the unknown that your potential truly blossoms. 
While you move forward, don't lose sight of the values that have guided you thus far. Integrity, empathy, and a commitment to lifelong learning it will guide you as you make your decisions that will shape your personal and professional lives. Remember that success is not measured solely by material wealth, but by the positive impact you leave on the world and the lives that you touch. As you take this monumental step, I will urge you to stay, stay connected to your alma mater and just as you have drawn from the wisdom and resources, find a way to contribute back to UMT in ways that extend some of the same opportunities for future generations. Your legacy is intertwined with the growth and success of this institution and your achievements will inspire those who follow in your footsteps. So in conclusion, graduates, as you leave this ceremony today, remember that adaptability isn't just a skill, it's a mindset and a way of life. Your journey beyond these walls will undoubtedly bring its own set of storms and sunshine, but always remember it's not about waiting for the storms to pass, it's about learning how to dance in the rain. Class of 2023, you've proven your ability to adapt, overcome, and thrive. Carry forward the lessons you've learned here, continue pushing your intellectual boundaries, and let your journey be a true testament of your strength and resilience. So as you embrace the unknown, keep in mind the words of Nelson Mandela, the gl greatest glory in living lies not in never falling, but in rising every time we fall. Embrace the unknown, for it is in the face of the unknown that your potential truly blossoms. So as you step out into the world, remain grounded in your values, committed to your lifelong learning, adaptability, and dedicated to the positive impact that you plan to place on the lives of, uh, lives of others around you. The world eagerly awaits the stories you will create, the lives you will touch, and the transformation you will inspire. So thank you, and best of luck on your future endeavors. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Guest, for the powerful message and great advice. So our next speaker, Mr. Jose Malapas, is a graduate from our Bachelor of Business Administration program in 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed faculty, honored guests, and most importantly, my fellow graduates. First and foremost, I would like to extend my deepest gratitude to the University of Management and Technology for providing a supportive uh, environment for learning and growth. A special thanks to the dedicated faculty who never let their teaching be confined to mere lectures. Your commitment to education is genuinely inspirational and has paved the way for many of us to not only acquire knowledge, but also to become lifelong learners. The guidance counselors have been our unsung heroes themselves, working behind the scenes to help us maneuver through the uh, intricate labyrinth of course selections, career paths, and personal growth. Your wisdom and kindness have been uh, invaluable in helping us reach this day. Also would like to thank uh, Student Services for helping us out. Whenever you need something, they would email you right away. And of course, finally, would like to thank the Registrar for happily accepting our checks <laughs> and giving you a big smile. As for me, as for me, I'm a veteran. Uh, I'm a veteran, and it took me uh, about uh, 40 years to get to this place. So way back in 1980, when I was first in the military in the United States Air Force, there was no internet. And so when, when, you, when you move from base to base every two, three, four years, if you wanted an engineering degree, you would have to be stationed right next to a, to a university or campus. And that wasn't always the case. So you had to, you had to be thankful about who, uh, who was offering education at that base. And most of them were, uh, most of them were offering um, business management, human resources, and all that stuff. So I, I got stuck with uh, 
business management. In any case, it took me a while uh, uh, get, getting to my associate's degree. In fact, when I left the uh, Air Force way back in 1992, I was uh, forced out because the Gulf War ended. You know, the United States Air Force bribed me to get out, so <laughs> I had to accept. In any case, when I left the Air Force, I, uh, I, uh, life happened. And so uh, when life happens, that means that you have these challenges of looking for work, having a family, balancing work and family, having kids. And in any, in any case, for me, a, chap, a new chapter in my life happened, which gave me an opportunity to finally, finally finish my bachelor's degree. And so, and so just like each and every one of us here now, We've all been through that difficulty. We've all made that, we've all made that sacrifice. And so, in closing, I look around and see the faces of everyone here and happy to be part of you, part of this new graduate going into the uh, workforce and everything else holding that diploma and saying to potential employers, contracts, whatever, it will show you and me that we made it. And so this is another opportunity. While this door closes for us, it opens more opportunities for us. And so Thank you and congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Malapas, for sharing that uh, personal, uh, meaningful, uh, nice uh, story. A lot of our students went through a lot to get to where you are now. Um, and I was part of that journey too, I tell all my staff that this day often is the most emotional day for all of us because we get to see you guys in person and we remember everything we went through together. Okay, um, our next speaker, uh, Mr. Joseph Thaus, is a graduate from our Master of Science in Information Technology degree in 2023 and also the Bachelor of Science in Information Technology degree in 2013. Welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, honored and esteemed guests and our, my fellow graduates, uh, greetings. I'm grateful to be here today with you all. Recently, I heard a quote that resonated with me. I felt the truth of the words as they were spoken. In, in 2018, Will Smith stated, quote, God placed the best things in life on the other side of fear, end quote. Fear, what an enemy it can be for us all. There have been many times when I needed to face this well-known and unrelenting enemy and the unpleasant emotional struggles it presents. One of those times was when I decided to go to college many years after graduating from high school. During my dear wife's university <coughs> commencement many years ago, I received inspiration to face my fears and begin my college studies at age 25. In a couple of months, I'll be 50. While facing my fears, I decided to complete a college placement exam. The results of that exam landed me right in the lowest college level of college math classes. This discouraged me and empowered, and empowered good old fear. But I wasn't done just yet. While looking at my situation and striving to remain determined, I eventually decided the only way through this is to just move forward course by course. 
After many prayers and remaining determined, my new journey resulted in successfully completing not one, but surprisingly two Associate of Science degrees within two years due to the collect, co correlation between the type of courses completed and the credit hours earned. I was excited and grateful to God for this blessing and to my wife for her example. As the years went by, I struggled with the idea of going back to college to earn a Bachelor of Science degree. You may be thinking, what? Why? Well, let me explain. Due to troubling difficulties caused by a disorder I have had since childhood, I felt I was not ready to navigate what it takes to earn a Bachelor of Science degree. Fear reared its head again. Once I decided to face my fears, I began researching the options various universities had to offer. One uplifting day, I discovered the University of Management and Te <clears throat> Technology. As I read about this great institution, I became more interested and inspired. I felt more empowered to move forward. I finally found what I spent many years searching for. This university was the right fit for me. The University of Management Technology <clears throat> offers its students many useful program completion options that aid in effectively addressing the many types of potentially hindering circumstances we all face as adults. The university also provides knowledgeable, caring, and supportive faculty and staff members who do a great job providing an outstanding and effective educational and professional development environment. As I remained determined to complete my studies, I found myself being blessed again with many successes along the way towards completing not only a Bachelor of Science degree, but ultimately a Master of Science degree as well. This has been, thank you. This has been another exciting and liberating success story about achieving what was available and waiting to be achieved. On the other side of fear, the university's faculty and staff and its program, God's blessings, my family and friends, support, and my efforts made it all possible. I can look out among all of you today, my fellow graduates, and see that many of you have done the same thing. You overcame your trials, struggles, fears, and various sets of circumstances to achieve your success story as well. We made it. We all found our desired successful paths. Now, as we move forward in life, we can look back and know that we were successful in facing our fears and that we can continue to face our fears and say, not today. I am in control. I will be successful. May we go forward in peace, prosperity, and many great things to come for us and our loved ones. God bless. Graduates, please follow UMT staff's instruction. We're going to line up and we're going to receive the diploma on the stage. Jose Benjamin Manlapas, Bachelor of Business Administration, 2023, Cum Laude. Information Technology 2013, Cum Laude. Master of Science in Information Technology, Management Information Systems Concentration 2023. Jean L. Boom, Associate of Science in General Studies 2010. Bachelor of Business Administration, Human Resources Management, 2017. Master of Business Administration, General Management, 
2019, Master of Science in Management Project Management 2020, Master of Business Administration and Criminal Justice 2021, Master of Science in Homeland Security 2023. Six and, and here's the record holder so far. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Christian Adam S. Satsan, Associate of Science in General Studies 2016, Bachelor of Science in General Studies 2017, Master of Business Administration and Supply Chain Management 2022, Associate of Science in Information Technology 2023, and Bachelor of Health Administration Working Progress, also DET Honor Society member. Fafidi I. Abdallah, Master of Business Administration, Project Management, 2023. L. Cadwell, Bachelor of Business Administration, Management, 2016, Cum Laude, Master of Business Administration, General Management, 2020. General Studies 2017, Bachelor of Business Administration Management 2022, Master of Business Administration Supply Chain Management Working Progress. <laughs> James J. Gray, Master of Science in Management, Project Management 2023. L. Johnson, Bachelor of Health Administration 2020, Master of Health Administration 2023. Julia M. Swilly, Associate Business Administration 2021, Bachelor of Business Administration Management 2022. Isaiah R. Escobel and the special guest, Bachelor of Business Administration Management 2017, Master of Science in Management, Acquisition Management 2022. Associate of Science in Criminal Justice 2018, Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice 2019, Master of Science in Criminal Justice Homeland Security 2020. Gary R. Hahn, Bachelor of Science in 
in Homeland Security 2023. Business Administration 2021, Bachelor of Business Administration, Human Resources Management 2023. <laughs> Tamara. S. Chisholm, Bachelor of Business Administration, Okay, we want that for the rest of the graduates, okay? <laughs> Sean L. Carter. Master of Business Administration, Project Management 2023. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Vicki L. Miller. Yeah! <laughs> Associate of Business Administration 2008. Bachelor of Business Administration, 2012. Master of Science in Management, Acquisition Management, 2014. Master of Business Administration, Criminal Justice Administration, 2015. Associate of Science in Engineering Management, 2017. Bachelor of Science in Engineering Management, 2018. Master of Science in Engineering Management, 2020. Master of Business Administration, General Management, 2022, and the DET Honor Society member. Department of Education. Now I can for the degree you have received from University of Management and Technology. Hopefully the degree you earn and bring you bright future. Congratulations. <laughs>